Authorities say Haley is 5'4", about 180 pounds, with recently dyed reddish-orange hair. She left this morning wearing a black Adidas zip-up sweater, ripped jeans, either a hat that said California on it, a gray one, or a hat that was gray that said Reese's University, um, with a black mask over her face. Now I spoke with the superintendent of Grand Island Central Schools, Brian Graham, who says when he first heard the news about Haley, he knew things were serious. It sounded different and it felt different. Um, you know, sometimes uh, children, you know, just get upset with their fa parents and, you know, they just need to blow off some steam. This didn't sound quite like that. The sheriff's office says a man who identifies himself as Dale from Pennsylvania may have lured Haley away from her home. Her family tells me they have reason to believe the two had been communicating communicating through Xbox Live and tell me the man gave their daughter a false age. There's this uh, global playground, you know, that children are using and it's not safe. So if we're talking to somebody who we think is a teenager, who we think is uh, the captain of the football team, right? And it's a, it could very well be that or a very different person, you know, hiding behind a facade and a stranger that is, is lurking to uh, cause harm. Graham says the school spent a large part of the day speaking with students and friends of Haley with the hopes of gathering more details. Her family tells me they too were able to share information with authorities that they believe can help pinpoint where Haley might be. We just want you home. The Erie County Sheriff's Office has set up this tip line for Haley, and they're asking everyone with information about where she might be to call 716-858-TIPS right away, and that's 716-858-8477. Febin? Cindy, thank you. Well, some of you may be wondering why an Amber Alert has not been issued. State police tell us that situations like this need to meet certain requirements for them to send an Amber Alert out. The child must be younger than 18 and police must believe that the child is in imminent danger of being seriously harmed or killed. State police say that if they cannot prove a child is in danger, it can hold up the alert process. No hate, no fear. Immigrants are welcome here. No well, the debate over allowing asylum seekers and migrants to be bused to western New York heating up tonight. Neighbors in Buffalo were out protesting today, speaking against a call for a state of the emergency to be declared in Erie County. Well, this is all part of the fallout from Title 42 expiring earlier this month. It will all be determined by an individual case. We cannot say that this will be how long it will be for this person, but it will be different for every every single different person. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. A lot of the reactions that we have seen is rooted in hate and racism. I don't understand how you can just dump a whole bunch of asylum seekers in a community without any game plan. County Legislature Jim Malshevsky is behind the push for the county to declare a state of emergency. He